Yo, 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 it's your boy. You already know who it is. Today we're playing some brand new Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Today we're playing with Infinite Toki. Has the hero power Temporal Tavern for one. Refresh the tavern. Include two minions from a tier higher than yours with the buddy Clockwork Assistant Battle Cry. Discover a minion from a tier higher than yours pretty good she has some pretty nice ways to get some higher cost higher tier minions pretty cool here we're gonna start off with the uh one one mech we're gonna feed it the bananas because you already know we love it when we get these easy lobbies i mean sometimes right a bunch of people just leave the game so i mean it is what it is right uh so we're basically already in top four but we still have to worry about whoever else is left i mean umpty dumpty has a lot of health uh, second place still has a lot of health, and we start off with a whopping nine shields, so not a ton of extra health. It is what it is. Here we're going to take the taunt, or we're going to take the one uh, divine shield, tough tusk. And then here also, we start off with some patient scouts, so we can hopefully get some Higher cost minions a little bit later, some higher tier minions. Uh, here I decided to go ahead and level. We buy the water elemental. Later we can sell that again for some more uh, gold when we need it. Here we take a loss, we take seven damage, which is all right. Uh, we didn't have any more blood gems. So you know, if we don't have any blood gems, it makes it kind of tough to get the uh, Divine Shield on stuff. Uh, here we take Trigor, and then on the second one we take uh, the other four drop minion. Um, honestly, I feel like Nightbane probably was the more correct choice. Nightbane definitely does win a lot of games for people, it definitely can, really great card. And uh, yeah, I just decided against it, which could have been a mistake. Here we take the uh, Spiked Savior, pretty cool. Uh, right now with this very moment, not the greatest pickup, but we do have a ghost this round, so it's not a big deal. We can try and build up something for next round. Here we go and take the Macaw so we can deal some damage to all of our Death Rattle guys. And here we get either another Spike Savior or the Bird. Here we take the Bird, because you already know one of the best beast minions we have right now in the game. Here we go and play the second Trigor. We play Titus. So we can get some double battle cries and here we're actually gonna go ahead and refresh we get a night bane we got some five drops not the best five drops could have gotten something else and here i hope i remember i do remember thank you mark i remember to move my spike savior to the leftmost death rattle position uh if i kept a little one one mech then i would have accidentally triggered his death rattle which obviously does not help here we get a 100% chance win. Pretty nice. Love when we see those. Especially, ooh, I love when I see these undead builds. And they got all these, like, random little, you know, uh, token minions. I mean, token minions Token minions are really bad against this build because every time I get hit, I mean, I just get buffs. So it's pretty cool. Here we get the mech horse. Decided to go in and sell the mech. And honestly, I could have bought a taunt. I feel like buying a taunt probably would have been fine at any point through here. Uh, but here we decided to go in free so we can get the golden trigor. This guy actually has trigors as well, but he's a little bit behind. Got him a turn late. And uh, he doesn't have nearly as much scaling with the trigors uh, compared to me. So. Here, again, easy 100 percenter. Uh, he does have the uh, the cats, the one-drop cats, which are cool, but uh, they're not going to help him enough. And yes, guys, some of the battles do take a while like that, especially when it's beast versus beast. I actually have I actually have all the gameplay sped up to 220x speed. 
So, I mean, that should hopefully help, but I mean, whoo, some of these, <laughs> some of these just feel like they take a while. Here we take Goldrin, uh, pretty cool, so all the minions we summon in the game will gain an extra little bit of stats. Here we go and buff up the Titus a little bit so we can, uh, you know, hopefully not have it die as fast. Here we go and get the trigger two, three times, which is pretty good. We get a 100% win rate, which is really nice. Just our uh, our Trigor just has way too much health at this point, and uh, makes it pretty tough for our opponent to kind of come back from that. Here we go and deal another 15. Here we get the second spec savior. Pretty cool card. Pretty cool card. Here we go and pick up a Divine Shield for the Mech Horse. Uh, maybe not the best card, but like, I don't know. It's alright. I, I don't mind getting a Divine Shield. Here we actually sell the Goldrin, uh, so we can get the second spec savior on the board. I feel like Goldrin is slightly better, just so that, uh, you know, I can activate the spec saviors a bunch, as much as I can. As opposed to trying to get some more value off Mech Horse, which, you know, I'd rather have permanent stats than uh, not permanent stats. So that's just me. But here again, we get the undead guy. Pretty cool. Here we go and deal another 15 damage. And here we're just trying to get some golden minions. Here we get the golden eyes and... I decided to go ahead and uh, go in the bird. So here, I think we can get a total of six triggers on all the death rattles for the spike savior. So pretty good, pretty good. The only thing at this point I think that could really make the build any better is probably getting either a golden bird Golden Titus, so we can get some more death rattles. Um, my course is good, but yeah, pretty nice build so far. Or maybe even some uh, some reborns, I guess, on the uh, on the Trigor would also be pretty nice. Here we go and take out another fifteen. We go knock out the uh, the gorilla guy. So we stopped getting the bananas, but not a big deal. I mean, we we're just putting on Titus for funsies, so. Here we also get another chance at a Goldrin, which it's okay. I just didn't want to pick it up. Here we get another Eyes. Uh, can't really use Eyes for anything because all my minions that I would want Golden um, are Tier 5, so... We could go to the med course, but there really is no point. We're going to go ahead and freeze so we can... Actually, no, we're not. I guess we're not. We're going to go ahead and do that. Put the second Titus on board. So we can go ahead and... Trigger our death rattles. What is that? One, two, three times every time. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty good right there. That's a lot of, lot of scaling right there, especially with the bird. A lot of permanent scaling too, and we got Trigor. Trigor is already at 1k health. Pretty good, not not very easy to take out. And in this lobby, there's actually no Murloc, so there's not really a ton of easy ways to cheat him off the game. Kind of got to get Leroy or... I guess Leroy is the big thing. Or the, uh, the Bramble Witch, I think, is also in the lobby. So, I mean, there's two options, but yeah, it's kind of tough. When you have double reborn spike savior at that point, I mean, your minions are pretty safe from uh, getting whittled down like that. Here we're just shuffling, trying to see if we can find any triples, and of course we don't, so we just kind of can't really do very much that turn. 
Here we get a 72% win rate. And this guy looks like he's trying to take advantage of the bird, so every turn he gets a free hero power, he gets a whole bunch of gold, but uh, he doesn't have the scaling that I do, so I think we take him out. I think we take him out. Ooh, here he gets Spike Savior and the Octopus, so... And he gets another Snake, of course, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Love to see that he got double Snake. Here we get pretty lucky. We pulled a win. Got the 72% chance of a win. I'm um, not sure exactly how we could have beaten me there, but I mean, it is what it is. Here we're going to take the second bird. Here we're going to get the golden spike savior. And I think I decide, yeah, I decide to go ahead and use the little hero buddy. Not super useful, I think, but uh, I mean, if I can use it right, it's something at least. Here we get untamable. Here we get Gola Cobra. Here we actually freeze so we can get the bird. Uh, I decide to try and... Actually, yeah, we keep this board. I mean, this is a pretty good board right now. We got an 85% chance of winning. And here actually he picks up a zap. I think he picks up a zap so I can lose my Titus's so I get a little bit less staff rattles but I mean I attacked first and that already Ooh, I mean <laughs> that's already a lot of death rattles so it is what it is here I'm already down to four minions but again my uh, my Trigor is pretty big boy here picks up the second Cobra And here we miss him by three, which is pretty sad. But we're gonna go and get our triple bird. See what we pull again. Nothing super crazy. Um, yeah, nothing super crazy there. Here we get the chance of picking up another Trigor, which I'm like kind of like being like, ah, do I really want Trigor at this point? I mean, it's cool, but you know, I'm probably not gonna get a chance to scale it. Here we get a Rock Rock and the other, the Divine Shield Elemental guy. And here it is said to leave everything untaunted. Here Zap hits the uh, Tituses again in the back, which is terrific. Um, I didn't really have any ways to really buff them because they're not beasts and I wasn't pulling any of like the crazy spells. Um, but here we have a 96% chance of winning, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I think his build was alright. He was trying to play some undeads, I guess, with Kalthazad. And, uh, you know, the Gula Cabra, but his wasn't enough. Not as good as Trigor. <laughs> yeah, here we go, baby. Another pretty easy win. Now, if demons were in, I mean, that may have been different, but no way to revive the atrocity. So, all right, guys. Love you, buddy.